Hey, what's up everybody? Fred McKinnon with eBusiness Online here today and I'm coming to you with something that is extremely important in your e-commerce business. And I mean extremely important because if you don't pay attention to this, it could completely wreck your entire e-commerce business and it could potentially bankrupt you financially. And that is the very important thing of liability insurance, commercial liability insurance. Uh, you might be thinking that seems a bit overkill, man. That seems a bit clickbait. That seems like something maybe it's a little over the top. Uh, what's the chance? What's the likelihood that I would get sued in my e-commerce business? Well, I've been at it for two decades. It's 2024 when I'm recording this video and I've been at it for 20 years, been on Amazon about that long and just, just about every other third party marketplace at one point or another. I've been sued. It's happened to me. I've been sued a few times. And I'll tell you my story about what happened with me. So Amazon, for example, requires you to carry commercial liability insurance after a certain threshold of sales. And once you hit that threshold of sales, which is around $10,000 a month, once you're kind of consistently selling $10,000 a month or more on Amazon, they want you to have at least a million dollars of commercial liability insurance coverage. Now, now, don't all freak out. The premium on that's not excessive. It's not crazy. It's not going to break the bank. But they want they want to make sure that you're covered because if somebody tries to come and sue Amazon, they're just going to push the book down, down to you as a third-party seller. Um, and it's not just Amazon. It's other marketplaces as well. But nevertheless, when you get to a certain threshold, they're going to require you to have a certificate of insurance, COI, and it's going to have to meet the coverage thresholds that they tell you that you have to have. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, every year you have to prove this. Uh, I get it. And so this is the season. Uh, it's February right now, February of 2024, when I'm recording this video. And uh, you can take a look at the email that I just got from them just uh, a couple of days ago. You know, thank you for maintaining commercial liability insurance. Thank you for maintaining. That means I already had it on file. I've had it for years and years and years for the products that you sell on Amazon. According to your record, your policy has or is about to expire. Please upload a new certificate of insurance within 30 days of receiving this, e this email. Certificate of insurance, you'll, in the insurance world or even in the e-commerce world, you hear the acronym COI, Certificate of Insurance. That's what that's referring to. Your commercial liability insurance, yada, 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 the Amazon Service Business Solutions Agreement. That's the thing that you sign that's like all these pages long with all this legalese in it that you don't read and that you just check the box at the bottom that says, yes, I agree to everything. Most people don't read all that. Well, when you agree to be a seller on the Amazon platform and many other third-party marketplace platforms, you check a box that says you agree to their business solutions agreement or to their terms of service. And in there, they're telling you you have to have that. So here, for example, it says requires that once your gross proceeds exceed $10,000 in a month, you can see it right here, or as otherwise requested by Amazon, you maintain current commercial insurance coverage and submit proof within 30 days, okay? And so here's the thing. If you don't respond and give them that, they could very well suspend your entire Amazon account, close up your business until you prove that. All right, I've known about that for a long, long time. And uh, to be honest with you, for years, I ignored it. And here's my story. And this thing is true as true can be true. Uh, I kind of ignored it and I was doing like well over 10,000 a month um, into the millions. Didn't have coverage at all. Amazon never asked for it. I thought, hey, if they ask for it, then I'll panic and I'll go figure it out. But they never asked for it. And I came to a point in my e-commerce business where I moved out of my house. What a glorious day that was. You know, I just, I couldn't take it. I couldn't work from home anymore. And so I went into my first commercial location. And when I went into my commercial lease, one of the requirements of the commercial lease was that I would have liability insurance and that the people who own the building would be listed on the policy. So I had no choice. So I had to go and I had to go find insurance. And I did. I found insurance and I paid for it. And I want to tell you, man, no, no more than like a few weeks after I bought this uh, commercial liability insurance, I got served with a lawsuit. I mean, like legitimately served, like sheriff knock on the door and hand you papers and say you've been served uh, lawsuit. 
And in this particular lawsuit, and it was years and years ago, in this particular lawsuit, there was a there was a store in I want to I want to say it was Wisconsin. Um, there was a store in Wisconsin, a bar in Wisconsin that there was a fire and it burned the bar down, burned down. And somehow or another, in in the investigation of the fire, they determined that they felt like maybe the fire started from a specific brand of... I'm being careful here because it's legal stuff, you know, and who knows, man, 10, 15 years later, they could still come back after you for saying the wrong thing because you know how that is. They're always looking for you. Um, Nevertheless, uh, there was a a cash register that they felt like, I don't know if it shorted out or what maybe caused the fire. And they tracked the purchase of that cash register back to a third-party marketplace. At the time, it was Best Buy you know, like the retail electronics store, Best Buy. They used to have bestbuy.com, the website, had a third-party marketplace. It was powered by Rakuten or buy.com at the time. And uh, I did a lot of business there on Best Buy. I sold a lot of consumer electronics. And come to find out, I had sold them a cash register through bestbuy.com. Third-party thing, knew nothing about it. At that point, my dropship business was fully automated, so... So some store owner in Wisconsin purchased this cash register on Best Buy through me, a third-party seller. Uh, We fulfilled it, shipped it to them, got paid, everything's fine. Years and years down the road, there's a fire, the place burns to the ground, and they say it's because of this cash register. Well, and you know, unfortunately, how, how lawyers and lawsuits and everything else works, they just cast a wide net. And because I was the person who sold the cash register, I got lumped into this lawsuit. And it was scary. I mean, it was really, really scary. And forget, you know, the the monetary damages. There's all these legal responsibilities. You know, you got to show up there. You got to be there for the presentation of evidence. You got to disp- you got to say this. You got to say that. And I started thinking, man, it's going to cost a fortune to hire a lawyer and do all this. And I forwarded that whole thing, I scanned the document, sent it over to my insurance agent. You know what? I wiped my hand through my hair here, which is usually my nervous or frustrated reaction. And I'm doing it in this case, I'm I'm going, <sighs> I never heard another thing. I never heard another thing. It was taken care of. Insurance took care of it. Saved my butt. I mean, big time, right? They saved my butt. Uh, and it was like right under the wire, right under the finish line. I had just gotten bonded with this insurance. And uh, they took care of it. I don't know if I got dismissed out of the lawsuit. I don't know what happened. All I know is that my insurance company took care of it, okay? That could have wiped me out. It totally could have wiped me out. Uh, just the other day, I was talking to uh, my insurance broker and... There's a number of people who are getting sued for ADA disability lawsuits, things like that, like where their websites don't have something enabled on the website for um, people who maybe are disabled. And um, uh, through the ADA, American Disability Act, and some of them get sued for it, right? Like lawyers are coming after them and suing them because their website wasn't that way. And I checked in with my broker. And I was like, hey, am I covered here? And they're like, yep. You're covered. We have a whole rider protecting you from that. So I was grateful for that. The point is, if you're going to do e-commerce and it's going to be serious and you're going to get to the point where you're at a certain threshold, let's say 10K a month or more, you need commercial liability insurance. I think of things happening, you know, one of our brands sells firearm accessories and uh, gun slings and things like that. And I've had people say, hey, I, I, I had a $5,000 gun scope and I was walking with my gun over my shoulder with your sling and the sling swivel broke and the gun scope fell to the ground and, and, and my $5,000 scope busted up and everything and you're responsible. And I think, you know, what if that firearm had discharged and gone off, you know, um, these things can happen. You just don't know what can happen with your product. You don't know what can happen if somebody takes, gets a box that you ship to them and drops it on their foot and fractures their foot. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, but what I do know is you need commercial liability insurance. 
And I want to encourage everyone who watches this channel, to, if you haven't done that yet, to start looking into it. There's tons of places you can go. I've got a colleague and a friend. Her name is Ashlyn Haddon, H-A-D-D-E-N, Ashlyn Haddon Insurance. I'll drop a link here. I think, in, in my opinion, in the e-commerce space, Ashlyn Haddon Insurance is the place people go. I mean, she, she's got a stellar reputation in the e-commerce world. Uh, I don't get a kickback. I don't, that's illegal, I think. I don't get a referral. I don't get money. I don't get anything for mentioning her. She's a friend. She's a colleague. And I know she kicks butt with this, right? So you can always reach out to her and get a free quote, free estimate on you know what you need. But you might talk to your local insurance. Agent. One thing I found is like your, your mom and pop insurance agents, you know, your Allstate, your Farm Bureau, your whoever your local people are, even the ones that write commercial insurance, You'll be surprised how many of them don't have a clue about e-commerce. They don't understand it. They don't, they don't understand it at all. So good luck with that. But yeah, reach out to someone. Reach out to Ashlyn. Reach out to any, anybody you can think of, you know, that maybe will be able to help you out and get that secured because it's very, very important. Hope this tip saves you some money and some headache and all that kind of stuff down the road because this is real. This could really impact you and it's very, very important in your e-commerce business to make sure that you are covered. All right. Hey, thanks for listening. I appreciate you tuning in and listening to this, hearing my story about the cash register and the bar fire and how I almost got sued. And well, no, I did get sued and why liability insurance saved the day. Uh, if that kind of stuff helps you and the things I'm putting out on this channel helps you, well, you want to help me back, I would be so grateful if you just re reach down and click the thumbs up button. Like this video that tells YouTube that you're engaging with my content. Leaving a comment would be even better. And at the top of the mountain is subscribing. I'd be so honored if you would subscribe to this video, subscribe to my channel, and toggle the little bell to get notifications when I put out a new video. Um, always honored to have you follow paying attention to what we're doing at eBusiness Online. We are a full service e-commerce agency. My name is Fred McKinnon. I'm the owner and the founder. And if you're interested in selling online, you need some help. You need some help getting launched. You need some consulting. You can always visit our site. It's e-businessonline.com. That's, that's the hyphen after the e. e-businessonline.com. Check us out. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about it. Hey, thanks for listening.